this is Math 141, practice test one, problem number three. There's a three right here. And um, what we are supposed to do is find all uh, zeros for this polynomial. So as I take a look at it, I remember possibilities for my zeros, for my real zeros, are factors of that last term divided by factors of that first term. So my possible zeros, according to this, uh, plus or minus, factors of 18, are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18, divided by factors of 2, 1, and 2. So any combination is like 9 halves or uh, 3 halves, 18 ones, negative 6 over 1. Those are all possible real zeros. If I have a real zero, it will be a, one of these possibilities. So I could just start picking away at stuff and trying stuff. Well, I think what I'll do first is uh, I'll graph it on my calculator. So I have it, uh, I have it here. I'll enter it in. It does, it does have the 18 in it, just so we can see it. Yep. So I'm going to graph it. So I'll hit that graph button. And I notice as I graph it, I get, um, I get this. So one, two, looks like there's one here at negative three, one here at two, and probably here at negative one and a half, negative three halves. Those were all possibilities. And I think what I'll do is I'll just start Plug it away and see if these work. So let's see, I had two, negative three. So let me try some of these. So let's try, uh, let's try two, positive two. Lift out the coefficients as two x cubed, five x squared, minus nine x is negative 18. No need for placeholders. So when I do synthetic division, I just bring down the first term, then I multiply and I add. Uh, then I multiply. Then I add, then I multiply, then I add, that's zero. So that works. Uh, just to emphasize what I just did here, I factored out or divided out an x minus 2. What was left was a 2x squared plus 9x plus 9. And uh, from here, I could just try and factor that. But, you know, I think that negative 3 is one as well. I might, I might, just, go, I might just go that route and see what happens. So I'm just going to keep dividing out that negative 3. So... 2 comes down, multiply negative 6. <clears throat> Add those together, I get positive 3. Multiply, negative 9, I get 0. Great, so negative 3 worked. So zeros I have so far are uh, negative 3 and 2. And notice what I did here. I, I had already factored out an x minus 2. And then I had this quadratic. So I divided out, or factored out, an x plus 3. And what's left is... 2x plus 3. I'm looking for zeros. So I already know 2. I already know negative 3. So now i got to figure out what this is. You might see that it's negative 3 halves right off the bat. If you don't, you're solving that for 0. So set it equal to 0. Subtract 3. Divide by 2. x is negative 3 halves. So there are all the real zeros of this cubic.